Hello guys, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and I received this message. It was sent to us by one of our listeners. If you have any story that you want to share with us, please do not hesitate. You can contact us via our email address. And the message that I have for you, it reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi. Mine is not a confession, but I have decided to share my own experience. This is what happened to me when I was admitted in the hospital for about three months. This was after I was seriously injured whilst I was at work and I had a spinal cord injury. But I want to thank God that after about three months, that is when the doctors decided to have me discharged. As for now, I can walk on my own. I do not have any problems, but when it is cold, Sometimes that is when I can feel that there will be a lot of pain on my spinal cord. A lot of things are happening in those hospital wards. When I was admitted in that hospital, I swear that I saw a ghost. Mainly, I saw a lot of witches. And what I can tell the rest of your listeners is that some of these people that are taken to the hospital, most of them are not dying because it is their time to die. But I think that there are other evil spirits that are always working in the hospital because I saw a lot of things when I was admitted in the hospital. I do not know. Maybe it was because I was paralyzed. Hence, I could see everything. I could see everything that was happening in that hospital. Sometimes I'll just open my eyes that I will see a man. I always saw this man. That man that I would see whenever I would open my eyes, he will be wearing a very dark suit. He never smiled. He never did anything. Whenever I would open my eyes, that man would quickly walk out of the room. The first time that I saw this man, I thought that maybe it was a doctor. But when I kept on seeing that man, that is when I noticed that it was a spirit because on the last day that I saw him, he just walked through the door. Most of the times when you would enter into my ward, I would see that the door would be open. But on the last day that I saw him, a few days before the doctors decided to discharge me, I saw him walking into my ward through the door and he also left my, and he left the ward through the door. I saw everything for three months that I spent in that hospital. I do not want to mention the name of that hospital. Let me start to explain about the ghost that I saw. One day, it was at around 11 p.m., the way that I was paralyzed, I could not move my body. The only part of my body that I could move was my head. I had lost total control of my body. So whenever I would see these spirits, I would follow them around turning my head and it was really terrifying because I could not get out of bed so that I can run away. I could not even talk. For about two and a half months, I could not talk. In the last weeks that I was admitted in that hospital, that is when I started to speak again, but I started speaking as if I was a baby that was still learning to speak. That ghost, when I saw it, it was at around 11 p.m. On that night, I had been taken into another ward. And that ward in which I had been taken to, I saw that a lot of people that were in that ward, they had oxygen machines that were assisting them to breathe. When I was in that ward, suddenly I woke up. Then I saw that man. He was standing close to the bed where I was sleeping. At first, I thought that this was a doctor. But after that spirit turned around and looked at me, that is when I saw that it was a ghost. It was not a living human being. Throughout the day, that man who was sleeping next to the bed where I was sleeping, you could see that there is no rest in him, even though he was really sick, but he kept on trying to get out of bed. Whenever he tried to get out of the bed, the machines would start ringing. Then the nurses would run into that hospital ward. Then they would secure him back to the bed. 
that man he really died a very violent death because by the time that he died they had strapped him to the hospital bed because he kept on trying to get out of bed even though he was really sick it was as if he knew that when the evening was going to come he was going to die he could not speak anymore because he was so sick i think that if he was still able to talk maybe he was going to tell the nurses everything that he was feeling in his body but he could not speak he could only open his eyes and from the way that he was looking at me throughout the day it was as if he was asking me to rescue him because he knew that death was knocking on his doorstep when that man died i actually had his bones cracking because he was trying to run away after that man had died i then saw a shadow walking out of that hospital ward i was really scared on that night because i could not sleep even when the nurses came to that hospital ward to check up on that man who had recently died i was really scared i wanted to tell them to remove me from that ward but i could not even lift my finger the only thing that i could do was to look at them but deep down i was shouting at them please save me do not leave me in this room because there was this terrifying smell that was suddenly in that hospital ward but when the nurses and those guys that work at the mortuary came into that hospital ward it was as if they didn't even smell that terrible smell that was in that room i saw a lot of dead people entering into the ward where i was admitted and one evening there was this other patient whom i had shared the same ward with and i think that he later died after i had been removed from that ward when i was in another ward i saw him entering into that ward where i was admitted he came straight to my bed unfortunately as a patient who was seriously ill i could not even move any inch of my body the only thing that i did i started crying tears started to fall down my face as that man was just staring at me and the reason why i say that this man was dead it was because they had stitched up his mouth i think that when he died his mouth was open so what they do at the mortuary is that if you die with your mouth open they will stitch it so that it can be closed but when he was looking at me he started smiling at me it was really terrifying that is why i started crying i was so scared i even urinated myself i was shivering brother nashi after that that man just disappeared when that man disappeared that is the first time sound came out of my mouth i was so terrified that i screamed those are the dead people that i saw while i was in that hospital then there is another thing a lot of people that die in the hospital before their time they are killed by witches there is so much activity that happens at these hospitals especially at night this is when most of these spiritual this is when most of these spirits walk around the hospital and most of these things i noticed that they always happened at 3 am but i want to thank god that he saved me but the most terrifying pain in this world is the pain that you will feel when you see something that is so scary and when you can't even do anything about it because you will not be able to move a single limb on your body the only thing that you'll be able to move are your eyes that is the most terrifying pain that you can ever feel in your life i had so much sleep paralysis sometimes i'll be tormented by sleep paralysis throughout the night i could actually see a spirit or a witch getting into that ward where i was then the witch will get on top of me some of these witches they will be trying to strangle me to death and there was nothing that i could do about it and i suspect that in that hospital there were these two nurses that always came into that hospital ward where i was because i was in the intensive care unit these nurses whenever they were on shift a lot of death would occur especially when they were on night duty i tell you that if in a ward if they were 
five patients. Out of those five patients, three would die. All the time that I stayed in that hospital, I calculated that 25 people died while those two nurses were on shift. I don't know, maybe it was just coincidence or I'm just judgmental. But the reason why I suspect that in that hospital, some of those nurses are witches because whenever I was tormented by this sleep paralysis, immediately after being released from that spirit that will be tormenting me, then one of those nurses would rush out of that ward that I was admitted into. So I do not understand how it was possible that whenever one of those nurses will be close to the ward where I was admitted, that is when I will be afflicted with this sleep paralysis. Then on the day that one of those nurses came and whispered in my ears that I do not like you. It was because when I was being tormented by sleep paralysis, I shouted the blood of Jesus and it was not easy. To someone who has never been sick, this might sound easy, but if you ever fallen sick so much that you can't even speak, just shouting the blood of Jesus, it will take all of your energy because After I had shouted the blood of Jesus, I think I fainted because I had used all of the energy that was left inside my body. When I had fainted like that, that is when I had a voice that was whispering just next to my ears. And from the sound of the voice that was whispering, I know that it was one of those two nurses and she just whispered that I do not even like you. From that day, they became almost like my enemies and they never liked me until the day that I was discharged. Brother Nashi, these things are happening in the hospital, especially at night. I know for a fact that there are evil spirits in the hospitals and there are witches looking for flesh to eat in those hospitals. I know that there are a lot of spirits that are always walking in those hospitals. The reason why I decided not to tell my husband, it is because he is also working in the medical field. And if I tell him everything that happened to me while I was admitted in the hospital, Maybe you would want me to go for therapy. You would think that I am losing my mind. Hence, I just kept this whole story from him, knowing what kind of a man he is. The devil is working, I know, in the hospital. Some of the people that are dying, they are not dying because of their time, but because of what they will meet when they have been admitted in the hospitals. Dear listeners, right there was a message that we received via our email address. Strange things do happen in this world. If you have any story that you want to share with us, do not hesitate to contact us via our email address. I'll be back with another episode.